Okay, welcome back, uh, dear students. We were talking about uh, the combination. Uh, we talked about uh, the permutation and uh, found out what is the difference between combination and permutation. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, permutation without replacement. Uh, basically, it is the mathematical formulation of the sampling without replacement and with order. Uh, so for, I have told you earlier that factorial is the important uh, uh, mathematical operator in this scenario. So if you have n number of total elements and you want to find you want to find out the permutation of k elements, the formula here will be this one. Okay. Basically, how can we calculate it? We I have uh, I have proved it earlier that if you have uh, five number of balls and you want to pick uh, three three balls, you want to pick three balls uh, with the, without replace without replacing them. So the combination number of combination would be five multiplied by four multiplied by three will be equal to sixty. So how can we find it out mathematically? Will be if I have the number of element uh, number of elements are five. Number of elements are five. Then I will write the total number of element as five. That would be five factorial. So I want to I want to calculate this one. So how would I calculate it? If I will make it like five factorial. 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 factorial so I have to remove this term how would I remove it I can remove it by dividing it over 2 factorial sorry okay uh, you can remove it by 2 factorial so that these two will cancel out but you cannot make it uh, 2 factorial by yourself how would you do it you will make it like you will make it like 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 into 2 factorial whole divided by 5 minus the total number of elements you want to get and that would be 3 because you are taking uh, 3 balls you are taking out 3 balls without replacement Okay, so that would be 5 minus 3 whole factorial. These two will cancel out, and you will get this one, which is exactly this thing. Okay, so mathematically, you can write all these steps as this one. This is the thing which you should write, which you should write such that n is the total number of. Uh, elements or total number of uh, possible ways of doing something while n while k is the number of the ways you want to select a particular uh, a particular uh, permutation to happen so here you are taking five, so here n is equal to 5 while k is equal to Three because you are taking out three balls without replacement. So this is the mathematical formulation of permutation without replacement. Okay, uh, we have also done it in the class, and I have derived this formula in your class too. Okay, let's move on. Uh, permutation without replacement. There is an example here. Uh, in this example of what is asked is 
43 drivers compete in a car race there is a car race in which 43 car drivers are competing with each other how many different combinations are there for drivers with first second and third position in the race actually there are 43 drivers and you can uh, any one of them can win a race any one of them can get a second position any one of them can get a third position so there can be many possible ways of uh, writing them in th in the in the form of three in the form of um, three three elements or in the form of three three drivers so how can you find it out this is basically the problem of permutation because again we have first second and third positions out of the 43 elements so i have now i can do it like n is equal to 43 i have 43 number of total elements and you want to find the total ways of making it total ways of making it in the shape of okay sorry okay k equal to 3 you want to uh, convert them in the form of um, 3 3 groups such that uh, each group has different order and each order is different from the other one and out of the 43 there will be how many combination how many permutations that those would be this one by writing this one okay so here you have to notice that the word combination in the question while the solution requires us to use permutation okay there will be many scenarios in which there in which i will give you uh, um the word combination but from the question you have to deduce that how whether it would be a permutation or combination game okay it will be your concept and knowledge test so you have to deduce it yourself so this was all about the uh, permutations in combinations uh, i have told you earlier that we don't to have any intention or we don't have any knowledge about the uh, order of an element any anything can come first anything can come second just like um, if i have one one okay so any one of any one of them can come first any one of them can second can come second but there is no way that i will get which one of them will be uh, will be in the first position first both of them are in equal position similarly if i if i tell you that the combination of one and two okay so the combination of one and two can be one two or two one this is basically the one combination it is it any 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 uh, combination of them is of the same preference okay one two is is similar to the two one okay there is no difference so that is the combination while in permutation one two and two one are two are two different combinations okay uh, its formula is this one just you have to write n minus k factorial in the denominator and uh, the formula will be the same in npr in npk what you have written you have written You have written earlier on n factorial whole divided by n minus k whole factorial. Okay. So if we divide it again by k factorial, if I write it if i divide it again by k factorial it would become c n of k it is the combination of uh, n elements okay taken k at a time and choose k it will be it can also be written as this one this is again called the binomial coefficient we will again discuss it when we will talk about the binomial um, distribution and binomial random numbers so I am keeping it up to that point. Okay, uh, there is an example, and we can call it sampling without replacement and without ordering. In this example, what is asked is an uncontained five balls 
numbered from 1 to 5 suppose suppose we select two balls in success in succession and without replacement okay again you have the same scenario in which you have an urn and you have five balls in this urn okay you have five balls in this urn and you want to select two uh, balls in succession and without replacement again you are not replacing the balls you are picking out one ball and then you are not pick, uh, you are not uh, basically putting it back into the bucket okay so how many different combinations are possible it is asking me about the combinations because if i will pick out one uh, if i will make it one two so two one is the same as one two because this is a combination okay three one is the same as one three two three is the same as three two and so on you can see that there is no repetition between the numbers these are the pairs of all the numbers which are possible here and how many of them will it be you can find it by this formula which we have seen earlier by this formula okay we have used this formula here in this formula we have here in this formula we have n is equal to n is equal to 5 and k is equal to 2 k is equal to 2 by writing them in a formula as we have previously studied we can see that we will have 10 pair of numbers order pair of numbers which are again listed here actually if you see that uh, how many how many number of possible order pair can be made we have discussed it in the uh, same lecture and we saw that the number of order paired will be 25 by taking two at a time total number of elements would be this one so to find the probability if you want to find out the probability of these combinations that would be 10 divided by 25 it is the extra stuff it is not basically asked here but it is the extra stuff that what would be the probability of these elements if you are uh, selecting two balls in succession and without order okay so these are the combinations and you can see that there is no repetition between the numbers uh, one five is available but five one is not available because one five and five one are basically uh, the same combinations okay one and five and five one basically the same four two two four is available but four two is not available you can also write it here four two but then 2 4 will not be available okay vice versa it is also possible similarly you can write here 2 1 and by um, by leaving one by leaving one two from by uh, removing one two from here okay similarly you can write 3 2 here and then you have to remove this three from here 2 3 and 3 2 are basically the same thing okay but you have to write one thing at a time here because this is what you have to uh, right in the combination okay so this was about the combination of in number okay uh, sampling with replacement and without ordering uh, we will discuss it later on okay we are, i am leaving it uh, in this point and we you can you can basically have a look for it but i am leaving it right now okay please uh, look at this example this is your task and uh, i will also announce a quiz in the next week so it is important to take a look at this example and uh, other examples which are written here uh, we will also discuss it and uh, it is important to look at this example um, i am leaving this example this is related this is more related to the binomial theorem so when we will um, discuss binomial theorem, I will again come to this problem and we will solve it. Okay, binomial coefficients. Um, as we have started, uh, as we have started um, conditional probability and Bayes theorem. So I am not discussing binomial coefficient or binomial theorem. After it, we will go to the binomial coefficient and we will study binomial distribution as well by using the simultaneous experiments and sequential experiments 
and uh, i will come back to this binomial coefficient after uh the conditional probability okay conditional probability actually this is the topic of uh, the next lecture but in this lecture i am giving you a simple example of conditional probability uh, this is one of the most important uh, application of probability and random variables uh, what is mean by conditional probability conditional probability actually deals with uh, a single problem which is dependent upon some other problem or some other event which has been which has been occurred okay uh, so you can see that what is the you, it is just like what is the probability of the what is the probability of a rain if there is, if there are the clouds so we i can write it like what is the probability of the rain okay let me write again what is the probability of rain given that this this slash is used for given given that there are clouds okay so this is what there is what is this telling you is that i a clouds have been appeared so what is the probability of rain okay so some event has been occurred and you want to find out the probability of some unknown event this is the conditional probability basically the condition this is this is called conditional because the condition is the previous event which has already been occurred okay so this is related to this event uh, we have also discussed in our class by using the venn diagrams okay by using the venn diagram we have discussed it so the conditional probability of any event a given b can be written like this one this would be the formula of conditional probability probability of a intersection b divided by the probability of b so you can see that the sample space has been moved to the b okay this is what this is the combined probability divided by the sample space so the overall sample space has been moved to b we have discussed it in our class as well so um, the example given here is the probability that pakistan will win the match given that it has won the toss it is also conditional probability what is the condition condition is that pakistan has won the toss so in a game what is the chance that pakistan will also win a match so what it would be it would be the probability of the uh, win, probability of winning a toss and the probability of winning a match that would be like this one divided by the probability of winning a toss here a would be what a would be a would be the match win match winning mw is for match win while b is for toss winning okay um so here we can tell it we can uh, describe it like this what is the probability of a means match winning given that pakistan has won has won a toss okay b is for toss winning so how can we calculate it we can calculate it by the probability of the chance of of chance of uh, toss winning and then match winning what is the chance that certain team has won a won won the toss and also won the match it, depend, it is also dependent upon the conditions you will have to gather the data and then you will write it here this is basically the advanced stuff i am not going into that one but what will be b what is the what is b b is the uh, toss winning so what is the probability of winning a toss that would be the denominator okay so in this way you can find it out how can you uh, from this from this equation you can also find the probability of finding the uh, probability of events such that one is occurred and another has also been occurred 
we have discussed all this these things in um, in uh, in another diagram which was in our class and we will also discuss it in the next class okay so this was all about the conditional probability and um, you can see that conditional probability is the essence of the um, base theorem and many other problems which are related to probability and random variables it is basically uh, been applied to uh, weather prediction signal reconstruction machine learning and there are many fields where conditional probability is still been used but there are many terms like probability of a and b probability of b how can you find it out you can find all these value from the all these values from the previous data which you should have okay if you are um, predicting a weather in certain area so you should have the data from the last 10 20 or 50 years the greater the number the greater the amount of data the greater uh, precision you will get in finding the probability of certain event okay so it is also important of to get uh, a clean and uh, reliable data from some source okay uh, so this is all about the conditional probability uh, there are some, there are some other topics here as well but we will go we will go into uh, the details in the next class so i think it's enough for today uh, please take a look over all the examples i will also upload your assignment in a meanwhile uh, take a look at the examples uh, and solve them there are other examples as uh, are here a lock has two buttons don't look at it to this one yet we will solve it in the class okay um, assignment is this one i will inshallah upload it and you guys can submit it in a in certain time so these lectures are basically finished i uh, kindly take a look over all these where the examples are present solve them actually you cannot just grasp all the concept just by uh, watching and listening to the Uh, lectures but uh, it is important to uh, practice all the examples which are available in your um, exercise and uh, in examples as well so thank you so much and uh, i will see you in the next week please take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next week